Hey guys, Saturn Looms here. Long time no see. I have not filmed a tutorial in so long, and today it's finally the day, cause, cause it is. <laughs> I have an adorable design today, and I'm super excited. So we are going to be making this amazing, adorable Lumagurumi banana, which is designed by me, which I'm very proud of him because. I just had a picture of a crochet banana that someone made. I will link her Instagram for credit in the description. And then I just made this and it's exactly how I pictured it, even though I really didn't know how I was going to do the little flaps. And I love it so much. And it's not that band heavy, to be honest. It, and it's like a good size. So yeah. So let's get into the materials we'll be needing. So of course, any type of hook, I'm using my rain balloon hook as always. And I have a new one. Last, I got it a while ago, but I haven't filmed a tutorial. Last time I had my green one, but like the metal was like, the coating was like ripping off. So I got a new one. I wanted blue. You will be needing a C-clip or a stitch marker I'm using my C-clip. Two six millimeter safety eyes without backings is what how I'm gonna make it. You can use backings, um, you can use different size eyes, you can use bands, you can use beads. I will show you how to make the eyes with bands or beads at the end when I'm attaching the eyes. And I also, for the mouth, it is a black or ran cut and I just used hot glue to glue it on. Don't use super glue when gluing on mouth, so because it like completely like eats the bands. So for our colors, I'm going to be using the same colors I used for this because I feel like it's like just a normal banana color. So for this inside part of the banana, I will be using pastel yellow from the Raymond Web Store, and you're going to need ah um like 72 of these approximately as exact as I could as exact as I could get it for the peel part and the flaps I will be using opaque yellow from the Raymond web store you're gonna need a little over 200 of those and then for the brown part at the bottom I'm going to be using opaque caramel and you're only gonna need about like 15 of those so Oh, not gonna forget today. Polyfill or stuffing or something to fill your creation with or stuff your creation with. So yeah, those are all the materials you'll be needing. And now let's get into the process of making this cutie. All right, so you're gonna wanna start with your inside banana color. And let me get some of those out. Over there okay so we're gonna start with the magic ring of sticks and if you don't know how to make a magic ring I will show you so first what we're gonna do we'll zoom in as much as I can so as much as I can go yeah okay so you're gonna take ah focus there we go so you're gonna take a band on your hook and wrap it around two times so one two creating three loops Sorry, mine's a little twisted. There we go. It's better. And you're gonna take another band and you're going to pull the cap band onto this band and put both ends back on your hook and then push this front loop over the back loop. Actually, no, opposite. You're gonna put the back loop over the front loop. <laughs> like that. And you're not going to want to pull at all. And what I like to do is I like to take my hook out and like flip it so it's going upwards. So that the, all the stitches are facing the same way. And now we are going to go back into the cap band. All three loops. And pull another band through. Just the three loops, not this back loop. You can hold it back with your finger. And then put the back two loops over the front loop. 
like that. And then we're gonna go back to the cap band and repeat that process four more times. So in, reclaim, back to over the front one. Oh gosh, it's been so long since I've filmed a tutorial. The last one I filmed was probably the baby squid or the lemon, or the, not lemon, the fruit wedge slice. I honestly don't remember which one it was. One more. We're doing six, in case you forgot. And the way to count is you're going to start the one on your hook. So that's, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. This will stitch right here is not, it's not a stitch. <laughs> the band right there is not a stitch. It's just part of the first loop. So now we're going to take our stitch marker, put it on the band that's on our hook. Focus. And we're going to do a single increase around, which will give us nine stitches. So instead of going into the cap band, we're going to go into this first stitch. Focus. And we are going to pull a band through just the stitch and put the back two over the front one. And that's a single. And then we're going to go into the next stitch and put two bands in it instead of one. And go back into the same loop and do a stitch. And we're going to repeat that process all the way around so then this will be a single and the next one will be an increase. One moment. Okay, that's better. I had to lower my tripod. I was like, my arms were so high up because I had my tripod so high. So now we're good. So another single. And then an increase on the band with the C-clip. Move the C-clip up to the band that's on your hook, and you should have nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we're going to do a single roll around, so no increasing. So just one band in every stitch. Try and get these as close as I can get them without them being in frame. That's good enough. But yeah, I've been wanting to design a banana for a very long time. And I just didn't really know how to do it. And then I saw the crochet banana. And I'm like, wait, that's really cute. I think I could like recreate that with the Megurumi. And this top part took me like four different tries to get the shape right. And because I, I, I don't, can't even explain. I like wanted it a specific way with like the point. Like how it's not completely just round it's like I don't know but that took many tries to get it and then I kept on like not looking at what I was doing and I was like increasing in the middle of my rows like when I wasn't supposed to and so I like had to keep undoing stuff but I think it was worth it it's freaking adorable okay so did my single row around you should still have nine stitches and now we are going to do single, single increase. So two single stitches ah, and then an increase all the way around. And that will give you 12 stitches. So we're going to do one, two, and then this third stitch will be an increase. And then two singles and an increase. I'll repeat that. I also wasn't filming because I was going to film for, I was gonna like try to design something like, and then film it 
for like the same day but then i got like really sick so and my voice sounded like super bad and i was like all congested and wasn't feeling good so i didn't end up doing like any looming or filming but i'm finally like recovered enough that my voice sounds okay it's still a little bit congested but i'm mostly mostly better i was out of school for three days which was a lot <laughs> i miss so much work you'd think that it, like i miss of course i missed like a quiz and like three days of a new unit so that was fun to make up okay so now you should have 12 stitches so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve here cat of course now we are going to do how many rows is it six rows of just single crochet i'll do like the first two with you maybe and then do the other four off camera just to save filming time so we're just doing single rows around no increasing or decreasing just single stitches in every loop It snowed a ton where I live today. Like, it was supposed to snow, like, early in the morning, but then it didn't. So me and my mom, like, ran errands. And then, like, when we were driving, it, like, started to, like, it was a snowstorm. It was horrible. I'm one of those anti-snow people. So many people are like, oh my gosh, it's snow, yay. Well, it's not fun until you have to shovel it and deal with it. <laughs> it's just not fun. And then it's just cold. Even though I do like snuggling up in blankets on the couch and watching football. And you can mark your six rows like like how I would usually do like put out six bands and like pick up one every time you do a row but I usually don't even do that I just like find the last increase I did and then just count rows down until I get to what I what I need and usually I can just keep track of how many rows I've done but however you keep track of rows is up to you my second row and then I'll go off camera to do the other four because I can do it a lot quicker off camera just because the position I'm in, like when I film. So, like, it's just awkward for me because I usually have my loom like close to my body, like on the couch, and it goes a lot faster. I promise I'm not this slow. I always say that I'm not this slow. And tutorials just because of the way I'm sitting my arms are positioned okay so i just did two rows and so i'm gonna do f four more and then i will come back when i'm done so yeah okay so i'm back and i did my additional four rows and it should be looking something like this and now we are going to switch to our peel color so whatever you're using for the flaps and the the peel part, <laughs> which I will be using my opaque yellow. So, get some of that out. And we are just going to be doing another eight rows <laughs> of just single. And I'll do the first row with you just because there's a color change in the beginning. It's like, just they don't yeah <laughs> so for the color change we're just going to pull the band through everything on our hook and put the back one over the front one and don't pull tight and then just stitch like normal so this will be one row so then you'll have to do seven more i know it's repetitive but it's easy <laughs> that's what i like it's a simple design but turned out so cute it's 
move your c-clip up and when you start your next row make sure you're not going into this stitch right here or this band right here it's not part of the stitch or it is part of the stitch and it's not a real stitch so i keep saying stitch so just skip over that and go into the next big stitch so seven more rows and come back to me when you're done all right so i am back and i finished my additional seven rows and right now would probably be the best time to stuff it i already started stuffing mine a little bit because this row we're gonna start decreasing and it's gonna get hard to stuff so Not look like eight rows. It is. <laughs> yeah, we do add some at the bottom, so that's probably just why. Or I counted wrong on my. No, it's definitely eight. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do single, single decrease. So if you don't know how to de do a decrease, I'll show you. So first we just got to do two singles. And then a decrease. So for the decrease, we're going to take the front half or the inside part of the first loop and the back half of the next loop and pull a band through those two and stitch like normal and that's a decrease and we're going to repeat that process all the way around so single single decrease Move your C-clip up and you should have nine stitches. I'm not going to count because, you know, if nine, stuff it a little more. And now we're just going to want to do one single row around. So just one in every stitch. All right, you should have nine stitches still. Um, I think I'm stuffed a tiny bit more. And now we are going to do a single and a decrease. So decrease. So one single stitch and then a decrease, one single stitch, decrease, and repeat until you get to the end of your row. And at this point, you don't even need your C-clip because... We are just going to be closing it off. Let's shove that stuffing in. I don't think I need any more stuffing. 
So now we are just going to do decreases until it's closed. So just decrease every stitch and then I'll tell you how many I do. So that's one decrease, two, three, I think I'm gonna be able to do four. Yeah, and then four. And then once you have your fourth decrease on your hook, you're just going to pull a band through everything and then tie a knot. And then we're gonna wanna tuck that in. You don't wanna pull too, too tight, but make sure it's not visible. roll it out so it's all even cat just barged in lovely <laughs> if you've watched my channel before you know that i have you well you probably know that i have many cats since i've sometimes i feel like i have more than three they're so crazy my my little my little baby came in Hi, baby. You want to film? She's like, whoa, what is all that stuff? Oh, something went wrong over here. I think my band just got twisted. I'll probably put the face and stuff over here. That looks the best. So, I'm going to put the face on right now. Just the eyes, because... The mouth I do at the end. So that's a secret, not an eye. So we just choose a spot. And then I went one, two, three stitches over. And the mouth goes like right there okay so now we are going to do the the brown part so get out whatever color you're using for your brown little stump at the bottom i don't really know what it's called but yeah i'm using my caramel and we're going to stitch in a circle four times around doesn't matter really matter where you start so we're just gonna stitch at the bottom. So that's one, two, uh, I'll probably put it over here, three, and four. Oh my gosh, my cat is making so much noises right now. I swear. I never, I like never film like at this time. Like, why is she going crazy? Okay, and I don't even use a C clip for this part because I can just put four bands aside. So we're just going to do one row around all the stitches. You'll use four bands. One, two, three. And four. And then I think I just did, I honestly don't really remember what I did for this. I think I did one single, then a decrease, one single. It's kind of hard to see. It's there. Oh my gosh. And then a decrease. So I think I did like single, single decrease. Or no, single decrease. Yeah, I did single decrease for the bottom. And then just tie off. And then tuck in. 
And you're definitely not going to want to pull this in a bunch because you still want it to be like shaped. Come on. Oh, crap. I kind of saw that coming, to be honest. So don't pull your band too hard, also it'll break like mine just did. But honestly, I think it's okay because I tucked it in. So we're just gonna ignore that, but don't break your band because <laughs> that's not good. Okay, so now the last part, which is the little flaps. I don't know, peel flaps. I don't know. So to start, we're going. You're gonna want your peel color, or not to start. You're using this the whole, whole thing. You will need your C clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back of the banana, and back of the bleh, back of the banana. And you're going to go into the row, the first row of your yellow. And you're just going to stitch. And then go all the way around in the first row of yellow and just do a single, like, stitch row. Just around the banana. The cat is now just sitting and just staring at what I'm doing. She's like, why are there tables? Why is there a big tall thing? What is going on? Why are you talking? And you should have 12 going around. Like, there should be 12 stitches when you go around. You can get to that last one. You're going to put your, actually, I don't even think you need a C-clip, as long as you count. So, now that we've got this around the banana. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the first four stitches. So, this is not a stitch, this little part. So, one, two, three, four. And we're going to do just single stitches. Let me get my pattern out for this. Kind of, kind of forgot what I did. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna stitch four times. So one, two, three, ah, and four. And on this fourth stitch, we're gonna do an increase. So we're gonna put two bands on that. And now what we're going to do is going to take hold, hold the band and take our hook out and put it back in so that your creation is now facing like the other way. And now we are going to stitch across. So if you want all your stitches facing the same way like I did on this one, you're going to like go in through like the back part. If you just want to go in through the front part, that's okay but I'm going to go in the back part because I want my st stitches facing the same way. And we're just going to do single all the way across. So one, two, three, and four. Should be four times. Now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to take, ah, Take our hook out and flip. And now we are going to flip, stitch across, flip, stitch across. Okay, so now we're going to stitch two times. So one, two, and then decrease on these last two. Like that. And then flip again. And then do single across. So one, two, and three.
flip and then single and then a decrease so basically we're repeating uh one row and then decrease on the last two one row decrease on the last two until we have no stitches left so i just did a single and a decrease then we're going to flip then we're going to do two singles wrong way i'll do two of the flaps with you on camera and then you can do the last one by yourself if you remember or you can just rewind the video so two singles And then decrease, and you're just going to slip knot at this time. So pick up your decrease, and then pull a band through everything and slip knot like that. And it should just naturally just kind of curl, which I was actually shocked that it did that. <laughs> okay. So now I'll do one more with you and then go off camera to do the other one. So we're going to stitch across, sorry, sorry. Stitch across four times. So one, two, three, and four. Just using four stitches per flap. And then on the fourth one, do your increase. Almost forgot. And then flip. And then do a single row across. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in frame. I'm like looking what I'm doing not through the camera because that's just what I'm doing. <laughs> That should be four. Then flip. Now we're going to do two singles, two single stitches, and then a decrease. So a single, single, and then these last two decrease. Mm. Then we're going to flip again, do single across, and then one single stitch, and or flip, and then one single stitch, and then a decrease. Then you're gonna flip and then two single stitches. Come on. Sorry. Then flip and then decrease on your final two stitches and then flip knot like that so there's that's how you do two i'm gonna go off camera and do the other one and if you have to rewind to see the process again feel free <laughs> nothing's stopping you and i will come back when i'm done okay so i finished my last little flap Mine, like, curled up. Might just have to fidget with them a little bit. But it looks cute either way. Okay, so now we just have to tuck in the tails of the banana. So just kind of go in some stitches that are on the side and just pull the tail down. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want it to lose its point. And you just keep kind of weaving it into the side bands. 
until you can't anymore or until it's like all the way tucked in to the point that you want because you still want it to be pointy same thing for this one i really hope i explain the flaps things all right I will show how to do the beads also for the eyes. Forgot to do that when I actually attached the eyes, but I will, promise. A lot of people have been commenting and I like don't get a chance to respond like at the moment or I give like a really bad explanation. And I usually don't tell you like where to put the beads like if during the pattern like I usually just tie them on at the end so after you tie it tuck in all your tails you're basically done and then if you just want to add a mouth however you want I'm going to glue mine on a little bit later but for the eyes on if you want to do band wrapped bands you're going to just take uh your black band or whatever color you're using for the eyes you're going to wrap it three times so one two three and then pull it onto, oh my gosh. Completely just snapped my track. I think it's okay. Sorry about that. So you're gonna take your color of like the inside of the banana and just pull those four loops on. Put it back here, like that. And then you just slip knot it on wherever you want. If you're using a bead, then you just uh, poke the band through the the bead and then slip knot it on. Or if you're like using like thin beads, I use like dental floss to string mine on. So that is how you make this adorable banana. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ah. Get everything out. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm very happy to be, be to be back filming. And I hope your bananas turned out cute. And if you make one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Saturn.looms and use the hashtag SaturnLooms when posting. And I hope you all have an amazing day and see you in my next video. Bye!